All right, so this bulwark set. A lot of people will, for my initial initial video that I made, like you know, comparing repair skills and incoming repairs. Basically, it was it wasn't perfectly correct. The UI was bugged with it. So incoming repairs. This is what it says on the patch notes. No longer increases the amount of armor repaired by armor kits, talents, or gear set effects. So it is just gonna be your your skills and it'll only repair you whereas repair skills will repair your friends and you so incoming repairs will help you buff with blue attributes to give you more healing from your hive so what i've done is i've i've made a bulwark build with damage and like tankiness with murakami knee pads and i've put the what the gloves on so i'm getting like 36 percent repair skills from just the gloves so it's going to help me heal even more so let's have a look and see uh, just like how difficult it is to kill me just standing still without the shield then I'll pull the shield out to proc the the initial armor regeneration seeing as though I'm stacking that uh, so can you flag because I'm I might probably might get killed yeah 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 just start shooting me yeah okay stop so this is without any kind of like I'm not even that tanky and look how the armor is just regenerating. Just keep keep dropping my armor down. Pull out the shield. Shoot. The shield takes the damage and I'm getting my armor regen. And then when I pull the shield out, my shield is getting armor regen. Look. And it's It stacks. So I pull the shield out, it shares the damage. My shield goes down, my armor goes up, so vice versa. It's like helping your shield is helping your armor. And that is not even that is like with like 1.3 million armor if I go full armor but here's the thing right so so let's have like like a fight for example uh, just start just start trying to kill me if I just do this and just run around how much damage I can do see look and my armor is still full okay try kill me now properly You won't. Just keep shooting me. Yeah, so, okay, that's... So, it seems as though it's still very unbalanced because, look at that, I, like, I've only got 1.1 million armor. I can dish out high amounts of weapon damage, 93k with my SMG. So I can pretty much like one mag someone. I have my hive, which is healing me 36% better. And this is nothing. Like, can you imagine if we could stack repair skills on every piece and make it a full red build with uh, repair skills? Oh, someone's coming to kill you. Don't worry, I got him. Nice. What's up, guys? Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 PTS video so i have been testing for quite a couple of hours yesterday on stream on twitch a link will be in the description if you guys want to watch me on twitch uh, going through the pts which i'm currently on now uh, i wanted to give you guys quite a few videos so we're going to be getting well, you guys are going to be getting quite a few videos in the next few hours possibly tomorrow or the next day i'm going to try and grind and do as much testing as i can to give everybody who doesn't have access to the pts the relevant information and you know so you know what's coming and you're aware of the changes with phase two the patch notes uh, I haven't really gone over the patch notes there are significant changes but I want to go through every single element that I believe is going to be a game changer uh, so the first one we're going to go over is a, what a lot of people are wondering I'm sure is the bulwark gear set it was currently very what was very broken you used to just completely uh, regen your armor insanely you could stand there and tank seven people shooting you with rifles and you wouldn't die the, the reason being is because of incoming repairs. Now, incoming repairs was not scaled correctly. The developers have stated and they've actually completely changed incoming repairs. So we need to talk about that because that is why the gear set was so strong. It wasn't even the gear set itself. So what would happen was uh, the gear set would give you armor regeneration and makeshift repairs. Whenever you or your shield take damage, 40% of that amount is repaired to both over 10 seconds. Uh, interesting to see that the chest piece would actually increase it to 60%. Then the backpack uh 
so that's just the speed. So the speed would increase, but the chess piece is what made it so good because what would happen was, as you can see, we'd put incoming repairs and it was supposed to scale uh, P in PVP because what happens is, is everything gets downgraded in a way to, to match PVP, but incoming repairs was buffing the gear set how it would in PVE and it wasn't scaling down. So they have currently fixed that. It's going to scale down. Uh, but incoming repairs will no longer work with gear talents, weapon talents, uh, anything of the sort. Your armor kit will no longer be able, like in the normal game, if you stack incoming repairs, it buffs clutch. It will not anymore. It will not buff the armor kits anymore. It will only refer to your skills, like your healer drone, your hive, or your seeker mine, the, healing, the healer variants of those skills. So that's how we're going to be increasing our incoming repairs. Uh, sorry, our healing to ourself with this gear set is is you would have to use a skill. So it's not going to be broken and you're not going to completely just heal yourself, pull your shield out, heal yourself. And it that's not going to work like that. It's only going to apply to your skills. But here's the thing. This gear set is still really, really strong. It's it's I would say it's currently quite broken still. I mean, you could roll as you can see. I have not gone full blues and I can heal myself so well and i'm going to explain to you guys why that is so i don't even believe running full tank with this gear set is necessary because you can do a lot of damage as long as you stack repair skills and incoming uh, sorry not re incoming repairs repair skills uh, on your attributes uh, and armor regen if you can do that all across the board uh, you can actually uh, become pretty much immune to all damage whilst in your hive so currently i've gone for uh, three reds, two blues, and one yellow. Now, there are so many ways I, I think we can do this. So many ways. I've seen people go completely yellow and just be unstoppable, but I wanted to make it whereas I'm tanky, I deal damage with my gun, and I heal very well. And I think this is a good balance. So, we've just rolled... Oh, don't worry about the attributes. That's something we can talk about at the end of the video. Uh, so, red, red, blue, red, yellow, and blue. Now, it's, it's important to note that you need to find these these knee pads in the game in the live game uh, these are the emperor's guard which gives you one percent armor region now on the normal gear set it does give you three percent so that'll be a total of four percent plus obviously all the other rolls that you will be getting but percentage based is going to be better so that's why we're going to be running this now the gloves i've actually gone for alp summit 20 percent repair skills which has been buffed used to be 15 if i'm not mistaken then we have more repair skills over there which is really nice because the repair skills and the incoming repairs that I have put on every single mod slot are gonna go, are gonna synergize together and are gonna increase the healing from on my hive. They're gonna all stack on top of each other, and my hive is gonna absolutely just heal me so incredibly well. So let me give you guys a demonstration now. Obviously, uh, in the dark zone, it's a bit different, but I'm gonna show you guys right here because the skill haste is is, is strange over here in the test. It's like 500%. Uh, so let's have a look here. So when I take damage, now it's a bit tricky to note it's not it doesn't it looks way better than it is it's because when you pull your shield out and you're taking damage that's how you proc the gear set but this is going to be a good way for me to um to demonstrate the actual healing power of the hive itself so the bulwark is not going to go into play here even though you guys can see the armor region is actually silly it's just ticking over that's without the foundry gear set the foundry gear set buff at all i would need to take damage so let's have a look at the hive and just see how good this actually is with with the normal region look how it's ticking me up because of incoming repairs and repairs because i'm back at full armor so with the combination of this and the combination of armor region and the actual gear set itself uh, you can do you could just tank so much and by the way because you can decide whether or not you want to go all skill all all uh, hybrid or you can go all damage, all tank. It, it, it's, it's completely up to you. This is more of a hybrid variant. But look at the damage that I can output with this gear set. That's just, it's just scary. I mean, you can hit so hard. And I think that's why this gear set might become a problem in the dark zone. Because if it stays the way it is, it, it's going to probably become meta. And I think it will. Because as you guys can see, the, the combination of repair skills, incoming repairs... The buff from the gear set itself and the fact that you can you know go completely all into damage and still have this healing i mean i did an all red variant of this and i was still healing out healing myself someone couldn't even kill me while I, obviously i had to do you know the year old strafe but 
it it isn't you know on console the, this is what i don't understand so on console it's just going to be ridiculous because you can run around in circles and it's not easy to hit people in console so i think this build needs to be tested on console i'm very angry that it cannot be tested on console because that is where it should be getting tested so i can just tell you guys right now you will not die on console this game there are counters to this gear set. You can get one-shotted by the Mantis. You can get bursted down. But let me tell you something now. When I pull this shield out, you ain't going to burst me down. You would have to foam me. Then you would have to run in my back and DPS me. So it's not unkillable. But in, in and of itself, it's really, really strong. And I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to adjust it. Uh, there's so many ways you can increase the value of this build. There's so many things I haven't even noticed yet, probably, like maybe going all into skill damage as well. We're going to have to see that. I'm going to let you guys know from further testing. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you guys think? Um, and yeah, I'll make sure to click the notification bell, subscribe for more videos, uh, and I'll be seeing everybody in the next one. Peace out, agents.